Hello and welcome back to the SN Healthcare step-by-step -step software video series. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on ECW's Chief Complaint and History of Present Illness sections. Now, shortly after you've logged into ECW, you will find yourself on this screen, and we're going to look up a patient. Now, a feature that you ought to be aware of that SN and ECW give you is the test patient menu. Here you see if you type in test, there is a whole menu of different test patients that you can select from. You can practice with those test patients at any time. Here we've come to a place known as the patient hub. This is where a lot of the information that a patient has will be centralized and it's a convenient place to reach the different uh, sections of their medical record. We're gonna go to the progress note, which is here. And here we find ourselves on a very standard screen that you will see for the progress note at the beginning of a new patient encounter. Things to be aware of include the demographic information here, other demographic and medical record information here, and then always just be cognizant of the date here. This happens to be a future visit, which is okay because we're using a test patient. Now let's get to the meat and bones here. Here we have the chief complaint, and if you simply click on the orange wording, we say yes to this because it's a test patient. Here is the complaint. In this case, we have a complaint that doesn't really comply with a real patient. You can always delete an old chief complaint by pressing the little garbage pail in the corner. And you can go by entering keywords, but most of the time it's easier to go by free text. So let's choose diffuse joint pain. And we'll see why that is in a little while. Simply by pressing enter, you've recorded it, and it's there until it's deleted. Exiting out of this screen, next you can move on to the HPI. And HPI is a little more complicated than chief complaint. Here on the left side, you see various different templates for different complaints. For our purposes, we can keep pain management, which is the current template being used here. Now, the way to use this is to look at the various columns and know what they stand for. Complaining of or denies on the left side of the symptom is a simple check or decheck feature. So, Let's put denies lower back pain, denies hip pain, and for bilateral shoulder pain, clicking on duration or clicking under notes will yield the same screen. Now, this is a bit of a combination because there are several different ways to approach this. For this particular complaint, you can select the drop down menu of the various different features. And remember, you can scroll down or you can type. And notice that it will come up here, location, bulleted, shoulder. And if you keep using this screen, commas are going to appear on their own. You don't have to do that. Let's continue filling this in just to have a good idea of what this will look like. Now at any time, you don't have to continue using this drop-down menu. You can simply free type. If you have a word that you need that isn't necessarily available in the drop-down menu. And that's what that looks like. And notice that it will continue on directly where you left off, in the order that you put it. So if I put associated symptoms first, and then relieved by, it will go in that order. And remember, you can always delete them, even if you've used one of the drop-down menus. You can go to next. And from here, we've moved on to the next complaint. 
the x-ray shows, and we can write whatever we'd like. Now, how does this look on the actual progress node itself? We click OK. And again, we're still in our template. So just for the sake of variety, let's pick one more template just so we can see what it looks like under the note. And see, we still have our old template, and now it's filled in with a solid blue, meaning that we have, in fact, entered data here. We're going to deny for GERD, and we'll go to note. And we can write any number of things here. And we'll keep this one short, just for the sake of example. Now we're going to exit out of this screen. And let's see what this looks like in our note. Here we have the chief complaint that we gave before. And here we have the history of present illness. In orange is the word that we clicked on, in this case, HPI. Now notice the template is in purple. And then everything that goes under that template is either black or in green. So every time you choose a subheading within a template, it will come up green like this, and whatever data you put is going to be in black afterward. Notice that the next template we gave is also purple again, and the sub-template is green with the data entered black. This concludes this video of the step-by-step -step software video series for Chief Complaint and HPI. You should be able to navigate your way through the Chief Complaint and the HPI sections of this software. Thank you and see you next time.